Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with Flex Film. And today I got one of the baddest meters in our industry right now to show you made by EDTM. It's the uh, model SS2450. And it's amazing how accurate this meter is and how much it'll do. I won't go into all the details. This is a quick run through, but um, it's a lot better than a $80,000 meter that you could buy that uh, would, would do everything. But for, for, for us, this is where we're at. This is the best. And, and um, I just want to show you what it does. It, it, it has three windows in it and you stick film in between these two light sources and you can get the information that you need. Uh, you get the UV reading at the top, you get the visible light transmission in the middle, which is actually photopic. It, it's going to give you exact reading of what humans see. Um, then you got this other window at the bottom. I'm not going to elaborate too much on it. You got a transmission, solar transmission, and you got this damaged weight. We'll go over here in a minute. But anyway, you, you, it's battery operated. You, you push the button and then it, it self calibrates. And then it, if you keep in mind, this is a transmission meter. So all this is, uh, information is going to show you what's being transmitted. And I'll, I'll give you a quick idea. Like this is a light window film. I'm going to put it in here and it's going to show me all these transmission specs. So the top one says it's going to let 2% of the UV through. So it's a 98% UV rejection. It's going to let, um, it's 66% visible light transmission. And the bottom is a 36, which is a number that, that, that really shows us, you know, how, how effective this film would be if we put it on like a house or a building. The higher the number, the less effective it is. You know, visible light and UV contribute to fading and fabric, uh, you know, and paintings that fade on the wall. Uh, if it's a real low number, it's going to eliminate or almost prevent, you know, a lot of that, that harmful fading and that UV damage you're going to get. If it's a high number, it doesn't do that well. Uh, generally, light films don't do that well. Dark films do really well, uh, especially if they reject UV. Um, if you want to change to the modes, this is what's really cool. You, you can click this button right here and you know now we're going to use the next set of values i put my number my finger in front of there i, I start to calculate again okay now we're back calibrated at the top window is an ir number that's the the cool number that's one of the reasons i bought the machine uh, the second window is another IR number. You see, you can measure IR between 900 and 1,000 nanometers, or you can measure it broad spectrum between 780 and 1,700. It, it would be nice if this meter went out to 2,500, but it does. It would cost so much money to get that far out, and it's such a small percentage of the actual value of what you're going to need. It may be about 1 or 2 percent, you know, off at the most because it doesn't go out far enough but for the money you're you're going to get i mean you can take these numbers to the bank on any window film it's so close it may be off one percent at the most uh, this number in the middle is it, it can be a joke sometimes sometimes it can be right it, it's like trying to find out what, you know who's going to win the game but giving me only the score in the first quarter the, the, this window right here is going to give me the the score at the end of the game so i'll know what's going on uh, and this last one, again, is that damaged weight. And um, it, it, it's a number, you know, that, that's used to determine, you know, how effective window films are when you put them on houses. And again, the, the, the solar, the T-solar is uh, the, the one I, I showed you earlier, which shows how much solar energy goes through. Uh, not to be confused with solar heat gain coefficient. That involves a lot of other, uh, other data, uh, which is like, Con convection and conduction, that's not that. This is just simply solar energy and how much of it gets through. Uh, so anyway, I'm not really worked, I don't do much with the last one, but so a lot of people do depend on the last one for a lot of data when they're selling film. So anyway, let's put another film in and see what, what it does. This is that, that clear film again. Just remember, the top, the top two windows are IR numbers. If we only take a snapshot, like at the fourth, it, it, only at the end of the fourth quarter, we're, we're going to see like this film looks like it rejects or, or lets 19% a, a transmit through it. But if we do the whole, if we get the whole score, you know, like like the whole score of the game, it's really a, uh, it's letting 22% through, and and that's important because we don't want to be misled by snapshot readings. This meter gives you the full spectrum reading that's very very accurate, so we can get down to the truth of what window films are doing. Again, that 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 bottom number looks like it's a 55, and it you know if you put a light film on a house, 
you're letting a lot of light through, so you're still getting a lot of damage. Uh, it's probably not the best choice if you're really trying to eliminate fading and um, other damages that you can get from UV and just the light itself. So anyway, this is a solar spectrum meter. It's real easy to use. And it's got two modes and, and it's in sync with the uh, you know NFRC uh, standard, which is pretty cool. It gives us what we need to know. If you don't own one today and you, you wanna be cool, you need to get this meter. This is sold on our website at Flex Film, and it's called the SS2450. It is the cool meter to have. Thanks for watching.